Hey guys, Jason the X for SC and the Sly Power by Cinelinks.com, and this is the figure review of the Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series MPM3 Bumblebee. Yes, this is, um, <laughs> I gotta thank Rob. Rob, my, uh, he's, uh, got channel control going on over there. He's a cameraman for SC and the Sly, one of my best friends. He found this thing for me. He was able to get to it before I could. And uh, got it for a pretty decent price, too. So I got to give thanks to him. I've been looking for him for a while. I got the uh, Masterpiece Optimus, so I was very excited to get this guy. And I got to tell you, I really, really like this Transformer. This is one of my favorite Transformers of the year. Now, I know a lot of people are very opinionated about the movie. And um, Hey guys, it's Jason the X for SC and this live powered by Cinelinks.com and this is the figure review of the Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series MPM3 Bumblebee. Now I gotta give some thanks to my best friend Rob, uh, also cameraman for SC and this live, does channel control, go check that channel out. He was able to find this guy at a Toys R Us, he was able to get to it before I could, so uh, I'm grateful for that because honestly, this is probably one of my favorite toys of the year. Uh, it's got a great transformation. It has a great look. It's the best movie Bumblebee we've ever gotten. Now, I know a lot of people are very opinionated about the Transformers movies and how the designs look. I, while I have problems with some of the movies and the writing and the story and everything, I, I still like the designs. Not all of them, but I like the designs. Not always like Bumblebee. From the first movie when he scans that uh, Camaro and comes out looking like this with the Kill Bill music playing. I absolutely love that scene. So yeah, I'm very happy to get this guy and it's not disappointing at all. I really like it. So let's go ahead and get Bumblebee out of the way, which that rolling action is smooth. Love it. So looking at the box that he comes in, you've got the Masterpiece movie series. It is a Takara Tomy and Hasbro team up to make this guy. Very nice packaging. Reminiscent of what you would find for uh, Transformers packaging. Pretty similar in size. Ten years of the movie universe, guys. And of course, he has a Toys R Us exclusive, so deal with that. Find him on the top. you got the ten years Transformers Masterpiece movie series. Got Bumblebee on the side looking great. A shot of the car. The other side, you get a shot of just the car. Looks good. He, of course, he's in Autobot. Bottom. Boring. On the back, you yeah, this, you know, very red design. You got the flip down battle mask, articulated hands, and you got a stinger blaster. Just look at this guy. This is this is a perfect representation of the movie Bumblebee. I must say, it's very good. So here we are, and let's get a look at him in car mode. Got the nice Chevy emblem up there. You got some translucent plastic on the headlights, silver detail. Love how this grill looks. All the paint detail that's thrown in there. He does get a little panely. And sometimes the yellows look a bit off, but it's nothing we haven't seen before. You got the nice Camaro on the side. Now, I know one of them had the Autobot symbols on the hubs or the wheels and uh, doesn't have that. So, I mean, it's a small thing for me to argue about. Oh, we got this little separation. You got to make sure that tab is in there and it just looks cleaner. The wheels seem a little offset on the back, which I've kind of noticed. In the back you got some die cast, those are going to be his toes. License plate picked out California there. You got the Chevy Emblem. Uh, just painted up back here. Little antenna right on top of there. On the bottom, it's not too bad. I mean, we complain about uh, seeing things underneath, but honestly, you know his arms and his legs are there, but it doesn't look like it's anything. And of course, the Stinger Blaster just mounts underneath the car like that. Got a little clip, little, goes in that slot right there. And go ahead and just close that up. It does look a little weird because it never seems to want to stay together as much as it should, but you know, it happens. So, but yeah, a really great car mode. I love the translucent windows up here. The doors don't open or anything. This is all connected, which you'll see during the transformation. But you got the translucent, <laughs> I almost, <laughs> the translucent plastic for the windows. So, very nice, clean paint job. And I like the lines on this guy. The colors are very good. So, putting him down, let's bring in a couple of comparisons. Now, I don't have my Human Alliance series anymore. After they ended that series, I decided to just stop collecting them. So, what I do have is probably the best deluxe Bumblebee we got. And that was the Battle Blades Bumblebee. And, uh, 
very close, very close in design. Um, this is more of a movie one over this one, which we saw later on with this uh, with the new scoop uh, fender and everything, the blacked out parts there. So yeah. Um, also a comparison here he is to what we would have a standard. I was trying to get this stupid thing that I plugged in there. Got side swipe here. And he's a bit bigger than a uh, Lamborghini. I think that's pretty accurate as far as those cars. Lamborghinis were always pretty low to the ground. Another masterpiece figure. We've got uh, original Bumblebee. Well, G1 Bumblebee is close as they could get to it. So there you go. The yellows are a bit different. I love how it looks on the camera and how it looks to the naked eye. Or I'm just colorblind. And here we have a uh, masterpiece movie Optimus, which I'll just move him over here. And I think those look pretty good together. I think movie Optimus could have been a little bit bigger, but otherwise they, they look pretty good. Get this ridiculous thing off of here. I don't know why I tab the weapons in there after I transform them to come over here and review them. I don't know why, but yeah, there you go with the comparison there. So. Otherwise, a very, very great car mode, and I like it. Now, moving on to the transformation. Um, some masterpiece figures can get a little wonky on the transformation. Everything on this guy feels right, and everything just seems to tab in the right places to give you the right proportions. It's not perfect to the movie design, but it is close. So the first thing you want to start off by doing is these doors have a tab here, which goes in there. You want to kind of pull it forward a little bit, and then take the door and pull it back, and what you've got is a hinge and a hinge and you're going to slide those forward like so. And that gets out of the way. You can see there's a bunch of robot bits in there. Once again doing the same on the other side. Opening that up. Moving this forward. Like I said outstretching that joint all the way. Moving it down. And what I like about this guy is you can transform like the top half or the bottom half of his robot mode independently of everything else and that's pretty cool actually I find myself going back and forth uh, different ways a lot of times so I'm gonna make the legs what you want to do is take the back end here yeah you know, I'm gonna do the legs because we can do the dramatic head reveal you know and you want to untab this back section here you got whoa there's it's heavy up there <laughs> you got tabs here they go into the sides over here whack just just yeah do that to your toys so anyway, back to the bottom, we're going to do the legs here. So what you want to do is take this part here and untab it. And all this kind of comes apart. He said, but it's not coming apart. Okay, um, <laughs> been a little bit. So take this little thing, which is going to turn to his foot, and move that back. Yes, sweetie. I'm doing a video. I love you too, honey. I'm sorry for that interruption, guys. Sometimes you got to tell your daughter you love them. Anyway, move this back, which is the spur for the foot. And what you want to do is move this down as you move this over. It's going to feel a little weird moving these two plastic pieces across each other, but it doesn't feel like anything is going to break. It, take it easy with it. Take the leg joint and extend it all the way. And it'll actually feel it lock a bit when you do that. Turn this around. That, that's just flopping out over there. Take the foot. Extend it out. And just make sure all this comes down. You've got a nice die cast uh, joints here too, which is very nice. Take this wheel, which is tabbed into the side of the leg, and bring it down. And put it inside that well there. Take this foot spur, bring it down. And when you do that, you want to take this little hatch and just lock it into that tab. Now this will come untabbed every now and then uh, as you mess with them, but just you know, just give it a little push and it locks in pretty good. You take the heel spur and move it back and there you have, well, oh, we're not done yet. You want to take this part here and move it up. What you've got is a little cavity here. You want to put the trunk in there and fold down the bumper and that'll go across the leg. Now that same tab that the wheel was plugged into there is a slot over there, and, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's not the same tab, my fault. There's this tab, which is going to go in that slot here, so you just move it forward, and that tabs in the leg, kind of completes the leg, makes it one whole nice piece, very nice. So, other side, I'm going to do this, I don't like doing this too much here, I'm just trying to show how you can do this, so, bring it back around, bring this down, bring this out. 
let that fall out. This locks in. Open this up, put it up in here. There you go, that's part of the leg already done. Take the wheel, untab it, bring it down, fold out the foot. You've already seen this on one side, so you know. We can we can go a little bit faster. Tab that in. And what I like about when you bring this down, it tabs in and tab this in, it gives it a flat piece for this to rest on. So there you go. Moving that over and tab and slot for the leg. There we go with that part. Now you want to bring these forward and angle them up like that. And there you got his kind of uh, his hip skirts or whatever those things were. Next up, you want to take the wheels and the doors. Bring them out just a bit because you're going to bring these arms down and you're going to bring it up and these parts are going to move out of the way and just kind of sit up like that. Also at this point you can take the hood pieces and move them forward so you get that kind of collapsed chest thing that his body did. Now here's one of the coolest parts of this figure. All of this, we're used to on Bumblebees, this being there. It's just there. It's on his back. What happens is you fold in the license plate, fold in the hood piece. Remember Viacons. Remember Transformers Prime Viacons. We're about to get very Viacon up in here. Tab this in. And now the windshield, you want to kind of move this about. And what you've got is a, you've got a hinge underneath here that's going to go up and you can take the windshield and flatten it out against the top of the car and then you want to sandwich this part together now after that what you can do is take the hood piece bring this around and it locks in just ever so gently so now that you've gotten all that out of the way what you do is you take this whole structure here and fold it underneath the hood and you'll feel it kind of sit there and rest a bit Take this die cast bar and pin it right into that tab there, into that slot. And then you want to take this slot on the front, and there's a tab, I mean, this tab on the front, and there's a slot here. I always confuse tab and slot, I know. And just tab it in, and there you have his chest, and I kind of dislodged that a bit, so. I've seen some people complain about, like, this does not always like to tab in, like, easily, but which I'm kind of seeing right now, honestly. <laughs> kind of like to get my thumbnail in there and just make it tab there. So there you go. You want to take these back pieces here, bring these down. They have a little tab and a slot. So that gets the wings on Bumblebee. Same thing over here. Angle those up. You can flatten out the wheels a bit more to the back here. And we're almost there folks, we're almost there. Make sure these are all lined up, that's tabbed in. Now, this all seems a little loose up here, like that. What you do is take these pieces here and bring them out. I'll move that past there. You got a little round peg and a hole here. What you want to do is peg that. You also have a, a little tab and slot. So, bring that close to the camera. And you can tab that in. And there you go, that locks that. Now sometimes you might find the other side is a little bit harder to get in after you've tabbed in that part. Sometimes you gotta make a little, you know, give it a little squish. Don't like doing that, but it does work. I don't feel anything has is gonna break there, but yeah, sometimes you gotta do that. That actually uh, lets you move the arms now. You wanna take the shoulder bits here, and they move out a little bit take these arms and they have covers on them you can just take the peg move the hand out and you've got two little slots and two tabs they're going to go right in there and those hands forward same thing on the other side and tab that back in and there you guys have movie Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now, hang on, stay there. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, oop, I see one thing that's wrong. See what I said? Those tabs will, will come out from time to time. Or maybe I, maybe I didn't tab that in. Maybe I went to go check out the other leg or something and forgot to tab that in. So that's going to give you your, your steadiness on the figure. Make sure that side's in there. And there you have movie masterpiece Bumblebee in his robot mode. And I have to say, this is a really, really good looking figure. That is a good profile of Bumblebee. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer in. And you've got so much die cast in this guy too. You have the die cast legs. The uh, little toe pieces are die cast as well. Which gives them a bit of heft. These parts here, die cast metal as well. But you got that really nice filled in leg that has the lights and the bumper on the back. You can see the wheels here, which I like that they still spin. A little skeletal in the back, but honestly, look at this clean. He does have still a bit of a backpack, and that's more just because of the hood of the car. But it works. I mean, it sticks out a little bit, but at least you don't have the top half of the car back here. It's all compressed in here. Like I said, you've got the door wings. They have this drop-down piece that I think it goes the other way on the uh, Bumblebee from the movie. So, But at least we have that. you got the wheels here and the face. That is Bumblebee. Oh, one thing I forgot. You can take these little collar pieces, and they're on just ball joints. You can move them out and out of the way. So there he has his collar. So sorry I forgot that part. But very nice. I I really like this figure. He's he is certainly one of my favorite masterpieces now. And just because I do like uh, the movie designs. He's he's just that good. I really like it. On to accessories though. He does have his stinger cannon, which we showed earlier. And what you want to do for the stinger cannon is take the arm, put it back in there, fold the fist back in. And you take the stinger cannon, you've got a port on the back. There's only one way you can get this thing in there. It's um it's caved out, it's it's got a piece down here, that's gonna be the bottom. So you're gonna slip that right over. And what you can do to keep it in place, you got a peg and those two slots as you saw on the inside of the hand, right there. And that's gonna help keep that in place. And there you have his stinger cannon, which very cool, very cool. Also um, he has his battle mask. What you want to do is take the, it's kind of, uh, it looks different than the other plastic. Keep holding this down. And bring that up, just like that. And you take down his battle mask and put it right over his face. And then you take this and just clap it back in there. And there you have Bumblebee with his battle mask. Very cool, very well done. I mean, I know it took a while for us to get figures that did that. But this one seems to execute it very well. So just put that back and there you got his helmet again. So, yes, very cool. I'm going to keep saying that. Articulation-wise on this guy, you have um, a rocker here at the calf, which is going to help you get an A stance and move that about. But that's about as far as it goes. The feet don't go back and forth just because of the nature of everything that locks in here. It doesn't really do that well. It will go forward and back a little bit, but it's up here at this calf joint. Or maybe he just has a high ankle, you know? Hey, he's just got a high ankle. So that's where your ankle joint is. The legs, nice ratchets. You get 90 degrees out of it. But super nice ratchet joints. The legs go out. You do have to move these panels a bit to get it. Ratchet joints back and forth. He does have waist articulation. The head is on a swivel. No ball joint, just a swivel. The arms will go out pretty well. You still have this extra joint here so they can go further up. They will make a 360 at that ball joint and it will twist at the wrist. The elbow will go 90 degrees. And the fist will rotate. And his hands do have articulation here. These two are jointed together. But you do have jointing at the fingertips and at the fist knuckles and then this one can point as well you've got that joint here at the fingertip and there and a joint at the thumb and that can go down so you can you know point of order just to let you know <laughs> so I like the articulation on this guy he feels very solid when standing even though sometimes you got to fiddle with him to get like a good profile and I think his head sits a bit low like when you're looking dead at him it seems like it you have to kind of tilt this up a little bit which causes the crotch to kind of come out some so i mean normally 
I think this is more of the natural placement of it. But otherwise it kind of looks like he's looking down. So, And if you try to move this up, you're just going to pop that out and then you got to fiddle with that some more. Oh, I'm sorry, he does have another joint here. I totally messed up. He does a big screw right there that I'm missing. Yeah, so you can move this up so that way it does look a little bit more natural. I don't know why I forgot that. So maybe I, maybe I haven't been using it until now. I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, there you have Bumblebee in his robot mode looking very cool. So now we got the figure all transformed up. Let's go ahead and do a couple of comparison shots of him. First up, I mean, Masterpiece Bumblebee G1. Move a little bit over that way. So, yeah, that's just two totally different things. Movie, I just wanted to, you know, compare it. Still like G1 Bumblebee. Uh, here he is next to uh, more of a regular size one. And he's a little bit bigger than your normal size uh, Masterpiece Transformers with side swipe here. I, this is where he kind of does not fit in on my Masterpiece shelf as well, but, you know. He still looks good, he looks, but he looks totally out of place with G1, so we'll get him out of the way. Uh, here he is next to uh, Battle Blades Bumblebee, which was the, in my opinion, the best Bumblebee from the movie that we had in a while. Next to Human Alliance, and like I said, don't have that guy anymore. Once I stopped making him, I was like, well, I'm done. And last but not least, here he is next to movie Optimus Prime, and uh, the scaling, that, that's spot on, I think. I'm pretty much sure. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how they scaled in the movie. So, yeah, really happy. They they look great together. I kind of have them on my Masby shelf, like you know, just a little bit to the right, just on that side. So, still looks good. I still like MP Prime even with his, you know, his robot mode that or his truck mode that doesn't seem to tab in in some places. But seriously, guys, if you can find him and you do like the movie aesthetic, I definitely recommend you get him. Um, and he is, like I said, he is a masterpiece. They are not cheap, especially if you were on the fence. So, yeah, but honestly, this is very, very well done. The die cast, just everything about it makes me really happy. I don't regret this one at all. So, yeah. Also, if you want to take his weapon in robot mode... You can tab it into that, um, well, this hole right here, that peg that was in the gun right there. You can tab it in there, and it's not, it's a little obtrusive, but considering I can't get that in because I have just clumsy hands, it doesn't really, like, um, it's not obtrusive. It doesn't, like, stick out. It's behind everything. I mean, more so than it already is. So, yeah, great place to store it in, uh, Robot mode, if you're just looking to get rid of it. The one thing I don't like is the the gorilla positioning of the arms, how they're in. I mean, you can move them like this, and then you have them, but it's on the underside. And I don't think that's exactly how it was in the movie. And that part still annoys me a little bit, just unpegging itself from time to time. So there you go, guys. Masterpiece movie Bumblebee. Love this guy ever since I saw he was coming out, and I'm... I'm glad to have them and add them to my shelf. Anyway, guys, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our channel. We are on break, but we'll be back after the uh, new year with some great new shows. Of course, like or dislike this video, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JasonX. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.